Hi, welcome to Dwayne's Guitar Lessons. I'm instructor Dwayne Jenkins and here at Dwayne's Guitar Lessons we are learning all aspects of how to learn how to play, improve our guitar playing. That's what we're learning here. And it doesn't matter if we're learning rhythm or lead or theory or how to tune our guitar or how to set up our effects pedals or how to get a great amp, great tone out of our amp. It doesn't really matter. Everything that we want to learn about how to improve guitar playing can be found right here. So if you like that, if that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to the channel, kick the bell for future notifications. And you will be able to improve your guitar playing right here at Dwayne's Guitar Lessons. Okay, so in today's lesson, we're continuing our work on how to play lead guitar playing, how to improve our lead guitar playing. And we're working out this book right here, Lead Guitar Wizardry Volume 1. In our last lesson, we had discussed harmony notes as we're working on here is our harmony notes and how we can use those to improve our lead guitar playing. And in our last one worked on harmony notes in thirds. Today we're going to learn on harmony notes in sixths and how we can use that to improve our solos as well. Now in addition to that, I also got a hat made. Check this out. <laughs> Is that one of my hats? It has my logo on there? What do you think? Does it look pretty good? I don't really normally wear hats, but uh, I was thinking about wearing this one because it looks kind of cool. I have them in different colors. You can find them in my eBay store, Dwayne's Guitar World. Um, I don't normally wear hats, though, because it kind of flattens my hair, you know, and I'm already losing my hair as it is, so. But this hat's pretty cool. It's, uh, you could has a guitar on there, guitar player on there. That's my logo, and if you uh, want to let people know that you uh, play guitar and you like to wear hats, might be something that might be work out for you. What do you think? Does it look good on me? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, if you're interested in learning how to play your in, improve your guitar playing, your lead guitar playing with harmony notes, let's check it out. Sixth. So here we are looking at our sixth, and I was looking at the book and I noticed that um, I actually put a diagram in there of thirds in a different position. Sorry about that, and I said it was sixth. But let me elaborate on that a little bit here in this lesson, okay? Um, what we're doing here in the, in the second diagram in this lesson in the book is we have a C here at the second string, and then I said to go to the second fret on the D string, our fourth string, and that's actually another position of a third, okay? Because you have a C and you have an E. So in the last lesson, we did our C here, our C on the fourth string, or third string, and then the E was on the second string, okay? So that's one position. This is actually a different position, a second position, that you could actually find the thirds. And what's great about this position is it gives you a chance to work on what's called hybrid picking. Okay, so hybrid picking is when you use your pick and your finger at the same time. And this example gives you that. So let me just elaborate on that a little bit here on this lesson, then we'll look at the sixth, okay? So if we were going to do thirds here, our C would be now be on the fifth on the second string first fret, and our third would be on the fourth string second fret. Okay, it would actually be a lower note instead of a higher one. And what we can do is we can play these together like this. Or we can play them separate. If you watch my hand here, you can see that I'm doing what's called hybrid picking. This is a very cool technique too that you can use for your lead guitar playing or rhythm guitar playing. Either or, okay? So now we have a third in a different position. And we can use what's called hybrid picking, okay? So we're just gonna throw this a little bit into this lesson here on six is the hybrid picking, all right? And if you need me to elaborate on this more, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a lesson on that, okay? It's not a problem. Um, but anyway, what we're working is on our six, but here's another example where you can find your thirds, okay? So there's the C and the E, and then the D. That'd be the C and the E, and the D and the F. And the thing with this issue is you're skipping a string, you're skipping your third string. So that allows you to do that hybrid picking, okay? Whenever you stick, skip a string, you can work on your hybrid picking, okay? All right, so that's a technique. That's our little lesson on hybrid picking, okay? 
that's a good that's a good way of find your thirds there if you play your thirds there in that position you can you know get your hybrid picking down okay so what we're working on is the sixth so we're gonna go back to our C that we worked on last lesson it was right here at the fifth fret third string and we indicated we determined that our third was right below it on the second string the E C and E right C D E E is the third now we're looking for the sixth Sixth of C, C, D, E, F, G is A. Now if we play the C here, there's an actually an A right here on the fourth string, seventh fret. Almost like a reversed power chord, okay? So there's our sixth right there. That's a way of playing six. And if we go up to the D, so our D is right here. So now we got the same notes as we did in the last lesson, C, D, E. So we got C and A, D, the sixth of D would be D, E, F, G, A, right, which is right here. Okay, I'm sorry, be B, I'm sorry, be B, sorry about that. Sixth of D is B, B, okay, so we got that here, and then another one. So a whole step back on those two, and then our next note is the E, and the sixth of E is a C, so we have a C right here. So that's going to be only... A uh, half step. So we got a whole step, whole step, half step, and then we go to our next note, which is our F, and the sixth of F is D, and D is right here. So now we have this whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, okay? And we could just keep going all up the fretboard, all right? And see how we could use those to create some cool sounds? Alright, so there we have our, our lesson on six. Okay, that's another cool way to put, put some really neat things into your playing is finding those six notes, thirds and six, and octaves as well. And we'll do a lesson next time on the octaves and where to find those at. But if you work with that, you're gonna it's gonna give you better fretboard knowledge as well. Okay, it's gonna give you a chance to understand where your notes are located better as well. And then like I mentioned earlier in the lesson, your hybrid picking, okay? You can find those different notes on different strings, then you can work on your hybrid picking, okay? Which is just picking with the pick and your fingers, okay? And there's a lot of different ways you can do that. I'm just showing you something real, real simple right here to pick with your, uh, your pick and your finger, your first finger, but you can, you know, elaborate more by using your other three fingers as well, okay? So there's our lesson on six and hybrid picking. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for future notifications. And if you want to learn other stuff about playing guitar, be sure to check out my website at duanesguitarlessons.com. If you like this hat that I uh, have made, it's pretty cool. Check that. You can find that out in my eBay store. I have them in some different colors. This one's red. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. I might decide to wear it. I'm not sure. But anyway, I probably will. I don't really normally wear hats, but this one looks pretty cool, so I might decide to wear it. But let me know in the comments below what you think, all right? So thank you so much. Keep working on your notes. Try some of those harmony notes. It's a really cool way of doing some stuff with your lessons, to your guitar solos. Sorry about that. And uh, we'll work on our next lesson on how to work with octaves, okay? So... I'll see you then. Take care.